The U.S. Open week is here, and that means we get to play in the U.S. Open in a major on the Simulator Golf Tour at L.A. Country Club. Now, usually the U.S. Open is the hardest golf tournament for professionals for the entire year. But unfortunately, on the Simulator Golf Tour, it isn't set up that way. It's softer, it's slower, and a lot shorter than the actual US Open that you will see on TV. So much so that the leading score at this point is 23 under par for three rounds. And there's a guy at 19 under for just two rounds on Wednesday of this week. So that means we gotta go low, and that means we also got three rounds to do it. But most importantly, we're gonna hit some bombs and hopefully make a few putts. Maybe, who knows? Let's see, let's do it, let's go. It's US Open week, baby! We start with a downhill 470 yard par five. And you'll see it's a pretty straight hole, actually pretty wide fairway. But in this case, there is OB on the right that they put in so you can't spray it into the next hole. I know it's been a while since I've played some golf in front of you in the garage on the channel. So I am as hopefully equally as excited as you are to get after this. We got driver, hole one. Let's hit a bomb, shall we? Fade in there, baby. Big old high fade. Keep fading, we found a fairway, let's go. Not gonna lie, I had a little bit of the nerves of leaking that thing all the way over to the right and being out of bounds. But we're not, so let's go. After that tee ball, we got 131 into the green, and we will be using a lot of the heat map on GS Pro, so that way we can see what's going on in these greens. I'm right in between a 54 and a 50. I'm gonna go with a 50 just because it's soft. Try to take a little off it, but not too much. Who knows? Can we start with a big bird? It's a par five, I kind of forgot. This is kind of hilarious, 131 in. Oh, I hit it 131 on the dot. Bite, bite, spin back, spin, spin, more. Oh, a longer putt than we wanted and it's downhill and these greens are running 12, so stuff's gonna be a little slick today. It leaves us with 22 feet downhill, six inches for our eagle. We're just gonna trickle it down there. Hopefully she goes in, but easy birdie, move on. Oh, I trickled it too much. Trickled it too much, but an easy birdie there. Didn't wanna run that one, gun that one past, you know, cause we've done it before. All right, hole number two, we have a 470 yard par four this time, playing uphill, kind of weird, but here we are. Uh, I'm gonna aim down the left, try to hit a fade. You got a pretty generous fairway here, so if I miss it, something went really wrong. Oh, I healed the crap out of it. Oh, that's spinning a lot. All right, long ways home now. A long ways home. Oh boy. But we found a fairway. That leaves us with 184 uphill. Let's see what this green's doing. Sure, I don't know what any of that means. So one thing you'll notice here is we have a slope reading on the bottom right of the screen, which gives us our lie angle. And the thing about LA Country Club is these fairways are very uneven. So we're gonna have to deal with that today. We got three degrees to the left. We're gonna aim a little right, see what happens. I got an eight iron from 184, slightly uphill. So we gotta hit it solid. Oh, it might be good. Oh, I hit it really hard. It's bite, bite, come back, come on. Come on, talk to me, keep talking, keep talking. Don't stop now, don't stop now. You're on a roll, literally, you're on a roll. Keep rolling, keep coming. This is great, keep doing this. Come on, don't slow down. Oh, look at that, there's a gimme circle. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, darn it. Well, one new thing since you've seen me lately is I got new irons in the bag. I got some Srixon ZX7s comboed with ZX5s up on the long irons. Um, and they go really far. Like that eight iron went forever. 191, no slope, no nothing with the, with the quad red. These things are hot, really hot, probably too hot, but we'll manage it. All right, we got a speedy 11 footer down the hill with not much break in it. So hopefully it stays on line and goes in the hole. Boom, baby, birdie, birdie start, let's go. Oh, maybe I should just hit a 280 off the tee every time because I make birdies doing that. 
Hole number three, a 380 yard uphill par four. And you can see that fairway slope that I was talking about previously. My goal for this tee shot is to try to hit it down the left side of the hole. Even in the rough would be just fine because of where the pin's at and the green's being soft. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Try to hit it a little harder maybe, who knows? We'll see what happens. Let's feed one the hammer, shall we? up the left, hit pretty hard. These are all good things. Get past that tree. Stay up there. Get up there. Kick down. All right. And like I said, that leaves us with the best angle in here. 80 yards. We're out of the rough though, but we'll figure it out. It's going to go to my 64 degree out of the rough. We got that slope to the right, so I'm aiming to the left. Hopefully we get it close. Hopefully we're not putting. That'd be nice. Come on. Let's go! Three straight birdies. Give me the Ric Flair. <gasps> Woo! Hopefully Ric Flair joined in. I don't know if he did. Hopefully Willie edited that correctly. All right, hole number four, 195 yard downhill par three. I'm gonna go to the eight iron, but if we learned anything from our hole two holes ago, we gotta, you know, take it easy on it. Try to hit it 180, not 190, because 190 will be gone. Smooth swing, Willie. Smooth swing. <laughs> the simulator has me hitting a four iron. That's funny. How about an eight? There you go, bud. All right, let's keep the, let's keep the train rolling here. I didn't fade. Son of a gun. Get up, get up. 180 would have been the shot. I hit that 175. We're chipping, it's okay. All right, a 14 yard chip shot, slightly uphill. Oh, I thought they were softer than that. I thought I'd get a much softer bounce, especially uphill, but we didn't get it. And now we have a 10 footer for par, not ideal. Booyah, baby. That was pretty ugly, but three. Hole number five, a 436 yard uphill par four. And then again, you can see these fairway slopes and this is what the players will be facing at the US Open, but they aren't that narrow. Due to the slope of this fairway here, I'm gonna try to hit something down the left with hopefully not much fade at all, something straight, just so that it doesn't kick all the way right and kind of block us out. Uh-oh, oh, I saved it just enough. Just don't bounce hard for me. Just don't bounce too hard. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're in the fairway, it's just fine. One thing you also may be noticing, new driver. Yeah, it's got demo stickers on it because, well, I already caved in the one I had, so they gave me the demo. I will have a video actually out comparing the 430 to the 425. Will be coming out very soon, so make sure you hit subscribe. But as you can tell, it spins a little bit more than the 425 already, and I like that because it keeps that ball in play a little bit better than the 425 where it squeals away a little bit more. So far, I like it. Goes a little shorter, which is fine. Let the ego take a hit, but we'll be, we'll survive. We got 137 playing uphill into the wind, probably playing closer to 140, 145. I'm gonna try to hammer a gap wedge there, just try to hit a little draw. I think it's the club. I could try to chip a pitching wedge, but we're gonna go with this. Let's see what happens. Oh, it went 150. Holy smokes, bite. Spin back, a lot more. Holy smokes, the golf ball's going really far right now. I guess I hit that a little too hard, but I usually don't hit gap wedge 150. That's a little, maybe I'm a little pumped up to be in front of you guys, who knows? But that leaves us with a 30 footer, slightly downhill, breaking right for the bird. Let's see if we can make a bomb. Let's see if we can make a bomb. Oh, sit. Sit, 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 sit. All right, we're putting again, sweet. Blew it almost seven feet past, so let's make the comebacker. Booyah! I feel like I hit that a little too hard, but I will take it. Hole number six, only playing 282 from these tees, a downhill par four. This hole only plays 250 straight line to the green and downhill almost 20 yards. So I'm gonna hit a six iron into this par four. We really need to stay right of the green if we're missing the green. I kind of want to work a draw on there, but I don't want to get carried away. So right of the green, easy birdie, miss it left, tough birdie. 
Oh, come on, honey. Go, go, go. Screaming at it to go, and it did. Stay there. Okay, great shot. We'll take that. We've got a very straightforward pitch shot here. 15 yards. It's going to be downhill on the green, so we just got to carry something nice and high and soft. Land it on the green, let it trickle down in there, and hopefully into the hole. We'll see. 64 degree. Just chip it up there. Trickle down there, trickle down there. All right, hit it not as well as I wanted to, but it's a birdie. Hole number seven, a 222 yard par three. It looks like we have some slope on the left we could possibly use. I'm gonna go to a six iron, just a nice smooth, hopefully a fade, six iron. Fade, fade, kick right. I talked about that slope, will we use it? Come on, honey, race down there or not. Okay, well, hey, good shot. We'll take that. 16 footer left for the birdie, break into our right. Let's uh, hit the line, hit the speed, find the cup. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh my goodness, what a poor effort. Mm. You gotta hit those. You just gotta hit them. All right, hole number eight, a 512 yard downhill par five. You'll see this fairway here on the left. We're not gonna be aiming for that. We're gonna try to take it over these trees to this second fairway here. A little risky, but I think if we hit a good drive, it'll be worth it. Bombs, brother. There we go, baby. That's what we like to see. High 180s ball speed, not. Nah. Bad. And we're in the fairway. 145, going to the gap wedge again, slightly downhill. So we got, we can't hit this hard. This, you know, just smooth or something. Oh no, oh no. I miss hit that so bad, go. Oh, I hit that one really bad. Ooh, ooh, let's forget about that immediately. I was hoping to have a nice eagle here. Well, we were supposed to forget about it, Willie. Forget about it. Go! Oh man, this is not getting any better. If I make a par after that drive, I will, um, I'll be upset. Nine footer just barely going to the left, so we got it at the right edge. Hopefully she goes in. Oh my goodness! Oh, that is how you screw it up right there. Isn't golf fun to make a par from right there? One eighty six uphill five yards. I'm gonna go to that eight iron here. Should be right about the right club, I guess. I'm not used to hitting eight iron from one ninety about, but here we are. Go a little, turn a little, bite a little. I guess it had to sit. Okay, sit, do it. So it looks like we just missed a slope that would have fed our ball into the hole because we got 28 feet downhill over a foot. So we just got to get this thing going, hopefully on the right line. If this goes in, I will be excited. Oh, good putt. Good putt, almost made it. Finally got some proper speed on the ball. Four under on the front, that easily could have been a lot lower. Hole number 10 playing 371 uphill, and it's another hole where this hole to the left is OB. So we can't go left, but it looks like there's plenty of room out to the right. We're just gonna hit a little fade, leave it out to the right, hit a wedge shot, hopefully make a birdie that way. And hopefully not hit it in that bunker. And we hit it in the bunker. Yes! Ah, darn it. That is not what I wanted. All right, we got 61 yards out of the fairway bunker here, and I have no idea how hard to hit this. I hit it 67. Go, honey. Oh, we're struggling to make the birdies here. All right, we got an 18 footer up the hill, just off the green, but I am gonna putt it. We could use some putts to start going in. But these greens are not very easy to make putts on. Go, oh my goodness, I didn't even get it to the gimme circle. I'm starting to overthink the putting. This is not good. I love a par putt. 
six footer for the par. Let's just make it. I would have been very upset. The par three, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of hole number 11, playing 247 from these tees, playing downhill 17 yards. I'm gonna go to a fade six iron here and hopefully that's the right club. Simulator thinks I'm hitting the three wood, which is funny. Oh, it over faded and I blocked it. Darn it, where are you gonna be? Not a great swing there. Oh, all right, we're chipping. Let's chip it in the circle. I'm sick of putting. We're not putting, let's go. Oh, that's a lot of pars after, you know, some birdies. Hole number 12, 367 yard uphill par four. Dog leg to the left. So what I'm gonna try to do on this tee ball is hit something high and hard and hopefully turning left, start it out to the right and get it turning, but it might end up going dead straight, which would be just fine too. Let's see if we can do it. Can you do it? Let's find out. Just, you know, that to there to this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Flip the hands. And heal it. Oh, that is really bad. Oh, that's such a bad tee shot. Where, get, oh, great kick. I mean, that's gonna hurt the driving distance average going 230, but <laughs> we have a clean shot at the green. Ooh, that was really ugly. A race from memory. All righty, 155 uphill five yards out of the rough. I'm gonna go to a pitching wedge. I'm gonna try to play this just right at the flag, just for safety, because if we end up pole tugging this thing left, we're probably looking at a bogey. Oh, two awful swings in a row. Where is that gonna be? Oh, great, in the bunker. Whoo, the wheels on the truck are falling off. 28 yard bunker shot. No idea how hard to hit it, but I'm gonna guess and we'll find out. Come on, just give it to me. <sighs> Another big par save, but I'm sick of doing that. I'd like to make some easy birdies now. How many pars is that in a row? Six, way too many. There's guys 20 under par. We can't be doing that anymore. All right, hole number 13, a 465 yard uphill par four with a fairway sloping from left to right. A pretty tough hole. We gotta hit a good tee shot to leave us a look into this green. Things got messy there for, you know, longer than it should have. Let's clean the mess up and let's make a birdie right here. A good, clean golf swing is what we want. Hammer it down the left with just a touch of fade. There we go. That wasn't that hard. Oh, that feels better. That feels better. Now let's put another good swing on the ball, shall we? 145 uphill a little bit, little into the wind. Instead of hitting the hard gap wedge, I'm gonna go to a smooth pitching wedge here because the pin being in the back, I think a gap wedge might spin. Smooth pitching wedge. Pretty good swing there. Yeah, all right, we gotta look. Leaves us with an eight footer breaking a little bit to our right for the birdie. Can we get back on track? Sometimes I... Booyah! All right, we're back on track, making a birdie with a par five up next. We still need to, you know, keep the gas pedal on to give us a chance. We need some more birds. Hole 14 playing 585 for us here. So we got a real true par five. This fairway slopes a little bit to the right here. So we'll probably try to keep it down the left to avoid that tree over there and kind of getting blocked out. Okay, I got this aim down the left side of the fairway. Gonna try to hit a dead straight, maybe a little fade on that line. Fade. Oh, I pulled it. All right, we're gonna be in the rough, but we should have a shot into the hole. Should have a shot in. 248, slightly downhill. I'm gonna go to a full five iron here. Aim at the left side of the green because that's kind of the easier part to hit. If it drifts over the pin, that's cool, but it's not what we're trying to do. Oh, it drifted to the pin. Go, honey! Go! Go! Darn it. Hop. Hop up there. Oh, we got away with it. We got away with it. 
Should leave us with an uphill putt for the big bird there. I'm not gonna lie, when I was over that, I started aiming more to the right. I just can't help but aim at a flag stick. It's just sitting there, might as well aim at it. 22 feet up the hill for the big bird. We need this one, I would like to have it. Would love to have it. Didn't get it there, wasn't the right line. Perfect. Hole number 15, the short par three, 118 yards. Slightly up the hill, gonna go to a 54 here. Gonna try to start it just right. Baby draw, right on the flag. Oh, I hit it way too far. Bite, spin, 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 rip, rip, rip. Oh, it did. Not enough though. All right, we're putting. All right, that leaves us with seven and a half feet up the hill, breaking slightly to our right for our third straight birdie. Let's send it home. Bang it in the back, baby, another birdie. Hole number 16, a 442 yard, finally downhill. I feel like every hole we've played has been uphill so far. I got us aimed down the left rough here because I'm not gonna be too greedy and try to bomb it down there. Just a nice smooth fade, leave us in the fairway with a comfortable wedge. Perfect. Should be perfect. Just a nice smooth one downhill finally, so the ball went a little further. Like to see that. Let's not screw this up. 92 yards, slightly downhill. I'm gonna go to my 64. I'm anticipating some backspin here, so I'm gonna try to fly it maybe a little past and let her come back. If she lands at the hole, she's gonna be ripping back. Oh, I pulled it, but it's the right number. It could spin back, perfect, maybe. Come on, scoot down. Nope, nope, we got a pretty decent sized putt here. Got a little armsy with that one and kind of pulled it over, went a little too far, missed it to the left. You know, all the things you wish you knew before you swung. Pretty much dead straight down the hill from 16 feet. So keep it on the line, right? Keep it on the line. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, I did! Yes! I love it when I'm wrong. Oh, I thought that was like four feet short, but nice. I guess it was four inches downhill, so that's pretty speedy. Hole 17, a downhill 370 yard par four. We got about 360 downhill on a straight line to the green, so I'm gonna try to hit something down there, maybe knock it on, we'll see. Oh, I healed it. No, where is that gonna go? I gotta stop hitting the ball out of the heel because it is, is that on a green? I drove the wrong green. Nope, I'm in the bushes. Not in the bushes, came out of the bushes. Sweet. Oh, and I'm not even in the deep rough. This worked out okay. So that miss has come up a few times, which we'll just delete that from the memory. All right, 75 yards, gonna go to the lob wedge here. I think I can fly this pretty close to the number, should be pretty good. Go, 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 release, release, release. Stay, stay. Okay. I knew I hit it a little short when I hit it, and I did. Uphill 17 footer for the bird. Oh, I hit it way too hard. Nine feet for par? What are we doing? I'm not gonna lie to you, I really wanted that, and I totally just hand jabbed it and then hit it way too hard. That's okay. Let's make the part button. All right, that was okay. Now, I'm glad we gave it a run now, because if I would've left it short, you know, we wouldn't have had a chance. And it's good we made the comebacker. Keep us bogey free. I spoke too soon, we still have one hole to go. Now I'm gonna bogey it, darn it, okay. The finishing hole for the US Open, a 455 yard up the hill, dog leg left, par four. Generous fairway here for us. Try not to miss that. But look at where they put that pin. The greenskeeper got lazy on the last hole and didn't feel like walking onto the green. We're aiming down the left. Let's put a good swing on it, finish strong, and hopefully make a birdie, get us to nine under. Okay, that's not a good swing. Not a good swing, faded it way out to the right, but we're in the fairway. We're in the fairway, we got a shot. All right, stop being so picky. 163 uphill five yards, pin tucked way in the left, so I'm aiming a little right. Gonna go to a nice smooth nine iron here. Try to get it pin high right if it sneaks into the, to the flag, bonus. Bite, bite. Bite. Yeah. 
All right, 33 feet up the hill for our hopefully our last putt of the day. Breaking, I got it five feet outright. So we'll see what happens. Oh, we almost snuck it in the side door right there. So that would have been a nice way to finish, but we end up shooting eight under par today. I think there was some really good stuff that I did, but I didn't take advantage of it. Missed some putts that I should have made. Obviously that par five early in the round wasn't good. And then hit it really poor kind of in the middle, but saved a lot of pars. And then had a nice little string at the end to finish. Not my best, definitely not my worst. We'll take it and we'll move on to round number two. Let's go look at these statistics and see where we stack up. Let's jump into the statistics. 10 pars, eight birdies, 26 putts, one sand save. 14 out of 18 greens, not bad, and hit eight fairways. Uh, longest drive of 350, the, the drive's the longest, all that stuff, it's only if it's in the fairway. So same thing with ball speed there. So 179 average ball speed, 187 was her best, made 100 feet of putt, which is not that great. Here is the leaderboard for the tournament. As you'll see, you have that guy at 24 under, 23 under, and us down here in 11th as we sit. It has us at nine. I thought the simulator said eight. I actually have no idea what we shot, but. All right, we are in the event statistics and you'll see we have a lead in the driving distance at 311, I like that. Scoring average 62. Get into greens and regs, 78%, we're on there. Uh, driving accuracy, doesn't look like we're on that unless I'm blind, nope. Not on that, sand save, we made one of one. Yes, we're on there. Putts per green, this guy's got one putt per green. That's a little nuts. 1.57, there we are. And 26 total putts. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining me in round number one of the US Open on the Simulator Golf Tour. It was a lot of fun to play. Hit some good shots, hit some bad shots, but all said and done, not a bad round of golf and we will be coming at you with round number two very soon. But until that, you know, you get to watch some US Open golf. But ultimately until that, what you should be doing is you should go play some golf, brother.